Hey, Kermit Weeks here, Fantasy of Flight, and I'm about to go test fly the Southwest Snipe. I cannot believe it's been five years. I need to be taken out and flogged. Shame on me. Anyway, we're trying to get ready for Oshkosh. We're going to take four airplanes up there, and uh, currently this is the only one flying. We're trying to get the pup redone, the cowling fixed, and then I still have to put 10 hours on it for the FAA to be legal to fly it up there. Uh, this airplane had four hours on it when it was test flown down in New Zealand. Uh, I, uh, when I got it up here, I put an hour on it, so I still have to get uh, five more hours on it. So with uh, today's test flight, and uh, should have plenty of time to put that on there for Oshkosh. So if nothing else, this would be, if this is the only airplane we get to fly at Oshkosh, I think everybody's gonna be pretty excited. So anyway, uh, let me go do a quick check on, make sure everything's okay, fuel plenty of castor oil, and uh, I'll taxi it if it feels good, I'll go fly.
to go, we're legal for Oshkosh. All right, well, that's a milestone. Uh, what I learned down here was, because of the P factor, mm -hmm. you know, the wash going around the deal, this thing does not want to turn to the left. Right. Even though I was, I tried to turn into the wind, it just did not want to go. But even then, when I went downwind, it spins to the right because of the, right. Right, the right, wash right. around the deal. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, so that was, that was a good lesson learned. You like cleaning the car for it. Do you see this way? I know. I was looking at it right now. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we're narrowing down. Okay. All right. Anyway, so first flight in five years. I can't believe it. I actually flew the Southwest Snipe at the Omaka Air Show last April down on the South Island in New Zealand. And uh, I can't remember if that one was a little different or something. I'm thinking they came up with a bigger rudder fin on or something. This this one, this one wallows around like this. It's kind of like a Fokker triplane. Bonanza does the same thing. Ailerons are pretty heavy. Um, of course, they're pretty big and uh, there's no aerodynamic balance. Uh, the elevator's okay, I haven't really racked it around yet, you know, I'm just kind of getting a feel of it. Engine's reasonably smooth, it's not shaking at all, but it's not like a sewing machine. Um, I'll get used to it. Gotta get clean off the castro. Anyway, getting ready for Oshkosh. How much time we got three weeks before it's gotta be in a box and out of here, so we'll see. See you there. <laughs>